what is critical thinking. So sitting on the top of our shoulders is one of the finest computer in the world. However, just like any other muscle in your body, it needs to be exercised in order to work best. And that exercise is called thinking. How do we, how do we think about things? Uh, how do we analyze issues and, and make conclusions uh, in anything that we do? So uh, that begs the question, what are the characteristics of critical thinking? I mean, what is all that about? I, how do you think, how, how does one think critically? And when, when is it important to think critically? Or why? Why is it important to think critically? So, so actually, actually, I want you to uh, think about the different types of thinking that we do. And so really for maybe about uh, 10 minutes, I'm gonna put you in breakout groups only for 10 minutes. I just wanna uh, you to talk about or define very simply critical thinking, positive thinking, and lateral thinking, whatever, what the, whatever that is. So I'm going to right away put you to work just for about five, ten minutes. Let's start off with critical thinking. What is critical thinking? I think uh, uh, the critical thinking is kind of like logical thinking. Uh, we are having some data. We will try to analyze it and understand it and take from that uh, like a judgment or something from that data. And we will make like a clear judgment from the data presented. So it is like I am uh, doing um, a step-by-step -step way of thinking. Okay, all right, that's a good start. Other thoughts? Same, same thing. It's a systematic approach uh, to reach a, a judgment. Okay, very good. A systematic approach to reach a, a judgment. Okay, good. One, one more thought. Objective thinking. I'm sorry? Objective. How objective. to think objectively. Oh, okay. Yeah, to analyze what do you the mean by objective? Uh, I mean, uh, to see the positive and negative things not just to be affected by subjective part or my oh, own judgment. Okay, uh, not to see just the positive and negative. Other thoughts about objective thinking? I mean, I like Maybe. that word objective, but I think it um, could um, encompass more than just, not just I think it is positive uh, and negative. Yeah, yeah, I think it is just not to be biased. Yes. Right, not to not be biased. biased. Right, yeah. excellent, good. All right, mm -hmm. so uh, that's a, a, a very good start. What's mm -hmm. positive thinking? Being putting so good. much weight on positive okay. points. Putting so much weight on positive points. And so much weight on positive points. points. What's a positive yeah. point? Other thoughts? It's like seeing the full half of uh, uh, a glass of water. Right, yes, you were giving that analogy. Is it half full or half empty? Yeah. So you like to take a more positive approach. Uh, another example? I don't know if it's correct, but to be optimistic? Yes, optimistic, right. Yes, yeah. okay, very good. Or well, I think... Uh, uh, who gave that example of the exam? Sawson, was that you or somebody else? No, that, uh, it's what's me. Maha? Maha. Maha. Yeah. Okay. Maha. Maha actually, Maha actually gave the example of the of the exam, and I gave the example of the cup. Oh, the cup, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. So uh, both of you are, are are good positive thinkers. Okay, <laughs> and and I have no doubt about being 
critical thinkers. What about lateral thinking? Thousand can I explain that? <laughs> okay, okay, I can explain uh, that. I think, as as far as my knowledge uh, say, uh, literal thinking is. Can you hear me? Uh, literal thinking. Uh, the meaning of that is like um, uh, we are a group of people thinking about uh, an issue. So some of us can suggest something. It's branched a little bit away from everybody else's opinion, and that's why it's called literal. That means that they can go out of the way to see the, the issue that we see from different point of view, a little bit far from everybody else's thinking uh, or the way they are thinking about it. Like if I give the example of the cup, somebody is going to think the cup is full, a half full, so it's positive. Uh, negative is, um, is uh, the cup half empty. But some people cannot even see the cup. Or they assume the cup is an objective thing that we cannot compare positive and negative uh, issues about it. You know what I mean? So it's literal. It's it's another opinion. It's far away from everybody else's opinion, like an outlier or okay. outlier opinion or something like. Is that. it is it good thinking or bad thinking? Uh, it might be both. It can okay. go, go both way. Yeah. All right. Actually, actually, it can go both way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Very good. That's a. That's an excellent start. So let's um, let's see what we have here. So um, uh, let me just um, right. So why why critical thinking? Well, uh, as as we mentioned before, it could be filled with biases. I mean, a lot of thought, a lot of thinking is filled with biases, prejudices mistakes in reasoning, and unexamined social rules that should be examined for truth and validity, okay? Uh, which, which professional group is, I think, most guilty of false thinking? Which professional group? So let me give you some choices. You got doctors, nurses, Postmen, lawyers, and politicians. Which one is guilty of the, the worst type of thinking? Oh, you only heard politicians. Well, that's okay. That's the right answer. Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no, no problem. They, they always mistakes in reasoning, unexamined social rules, rules yeah. biases, prejudices. They always trying to manipulate you, right? Okay. Yes. All right. So that's, um, all right. So positive thinking is a mental, emotional attitude that focuses on the bright side of things in life and expects positive results. A person with positive thinking mentality anticipates happiness, success, health, and believes that he or she could overcome any obstacle uh, with, uh, that presents difficulty. So here, uh, on this side, we have negative thinking, positive. I've never done that before. Whereas the positive person will say, it's an opportunity to learn something new, or it's too complicated. I'll take it from a different angle. I don't have the resources. Necessity is the mother of an invention. There's not enough time. Let's reevaluate some priorities. So, you know, I, I think you are all on the mark about negative thinking, positive thinking, uh, you know, manage your self-talk. This is going to be a wonderful day, right? as opposed to this is going to be a crappy day, okay? You, you want to wake up in the morning at least in the morning, you would have the attitude, this is going to be a good day, even though it's raining and blah, 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 okay? So positive thinking is good, but sometimes it's not always realistic or necessarily attainable. Uh, sometimes it's just plain delusional. Uh, so I think uh, I think the other day somebody mentioned false, false hope uh, and 
in clinical medicine. Uh, it's on one hand, it's good to have positive thinking, but sometimes you need to be realistic. Uh, if you have a you know bad illness, um, I I think you probably need to have a combination of positive thinking and I uh, I just thought. Uh, Another type of thinking, realistic thinking. <laughs> realistic about the actual situation, which I think is more closer to, to critical thinking. Now, lateral thinking was coined by this gentleman here, Edward de Bono, to denote uh, a problem solving style that involves, as, as was mentioned, uh, looking at the situation at different angles, unexpected angles. Sometimes uh, a problem seems difficult uh, or insol insolvable because our assumptions about it are wrong or we have the same assumptions that we carry with us for years and years. Uh, the other way to think about it is thinking outside of the box, okay? We're, we're not, um, you should, we're so used to thinking inside of the box with the same solutions all the time, and when we come up with a, a difficult problem, we're not able to step outside of the box or take a lateral point of view. So, uh, after logical and linear thinking, parallel thinking or collaborative thinking emerges. That's why it's good to think about things in groups uh, because uh, that's where uh, one could generate new ideas. Uh, just hearing other people, hearing other people think about things may generate a different idea and that's why uh, People like to uh, collaborate and work in groups rather than just by themselves. Um, you want to consider all, all the factors, alternative possibilities, and from a different perspective and create new channels. Essentially, we have to de-learn our usual way of thinking and relearn different, different ways. Um, so, here, yeah, let me uh, give you um, uh, an example, okay? Um, the surgeon, a father and his son are involved in a car accident as a result of which the son was badly injured and his father rushed him to the hospital for emergency surgery. However, the surgeon at the hospital, takes one look at the boy and says, I can't operate on him. And when asked why, the surgeon says, because he's my son. What's happening here? The uh, surgeon is the mother of the son. Yes, right. The surgeon is the mother. We shouldn't make the assumptions all the time that all surgeons are men. Right? Okay, very good. All right, so let's take a harder problem here. Um, there are six eggs, oh, here we go. Six eggs in the basket. There are six people who's gonna take one egg. How could it be that one egg is left in the basket after everyone takes one egg. Everyone is supposed to take one egg. After all that is done, how could it be that one egg is left in the basket? Maybe there is another egg beneath these nope. six eggs only, that no one sees. Only six <laughs> eggs. I'm I'm giving you the facts. Don't don't change the facts. Okay. <laughs> Maybe one of the six people wasn't there. No, uh, all six people, I mean, good thought, but uh, <clears throat> all six people are there. 
Oh. I guess you could say maybe somebody shot the sixth person. Um, actually, oh, the egg that is broken? would have been a good thought. Um, negative thinking, broken? but a good thought. What if one of the people was pregnant, so we can say that there are two people, but she will only take one egg? Um, I'm not sure if I understand that, but all right. Any other, any other thoughts? Well, maybe one, maybe one of the eggs are broken. No, one person yeah. takes, takes the basket as With well the as the last egg. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Very good. Here's a similar. Uh, uh, problem. So we have a um, uh, acting on an anonymous phone call. The police raided a house to arrest a suspected murderer. They don't know what he looks like, but they know his name is John. Inside, inside the house, they see a carpenter a lorry driver, a car mechanic, and a fireman playing cards. Without even asking his name, they immediately arrest the fireman. How do they know that they got the right man? I, I think because uh, the fireman usually has their name tags on their suits, maybe. Um, okay, all right, that's a good thought. I like that thought. Um, right, okay, good. Other thoughts? Something similar to the previous problem. Well, just that everybody else was a woman. And there was only <laughs> one man there. See, we're still thinking in a in a male dominated culture here. Okay. All right. Very good. Mm. So, um, oh, well, let's, uh, oh, yeah, let's, um, uh, uh, so we have, we have six glasses here, three full, three empty, uh, and by moving only one glass, can you arrange them so that uh, the full and the empty glasses alternate just by moving one glass? And could you have it so that? You can take one, the second left. Yeah. And do what? You can take the second uh, one, the second one from the left, and put in the second one from the right. Do do what now? Take this one. Take this one. Yeah. And pour it here. Pour it where? And return it back. Pour it here. I'm sorry. Put it here. Put the Where? juice here. Here? Yeah. And then put this back. Yeah. That's right. That's exactly right. You move this, you pour it in here, and you put it back. Good. So after only 15 minutes, you have demonstrated good lateral thinking. Good job. Okay, very good. Uh, so now the basic assumption was that you're supposed to actually move the glass and don't put it back in the original position. So, all right, very good. So again, uh, you have to think out of the box. So. Uh, the brain 
it's not a custom, not a custom. to lateral thinking. Uh, and we stick to these patterns, you know, um, all occupations are filled with men, doctors, firemen, carpenters. Uh, and so we need to be more creative in, in, in our thinking and block out normal channels um, when we do lateral thinking. So it's, a, it's, it's not critical thinking because we said before critical thinking was a systematic way of, of thinking, which is, which is different from lateral thinking. But I wanted to um, throw that in. And then we have positive thinking, which is uh, not systematic at all. We're always looking on the bright side of things, which is good, but sometimes it, it may not be realistic. So again, why think crit critically? Uh, as I said before, you know, there's, uh, we have a lot of hidden biases, uh, prejudices uh, that we may not even be aware of. We have to question assumptions um, and we have to uh, always be on the lookout for false way of thinking uh, because uh, then we'll accept uh, claims or conclusions that are false. So critical thinking is a way of deciding to believe or, or what to do. We, we live in a world in which we have to, um, uh, as much as possible, uh, find out what the truth is. Uh, we're not always going to have, uh, and I'll explain more about this in the second session, uh, where we have this two types of critical thinking, deductive thinking and inductive thinking. And deductive thinking is uh, uh, a way of thinking in which your conclusion has to be true if the premises are true, whereas inductive thinking is, uh, uh, is not, you don't have complete certainty that something is true. Uh, for, for example, I, if I look at the window here, I see all the trees are green and, you know, I could induce and say all trees, no matter where they are, are green, which is not true. Um, but um, it's it's it depends. You could call it on the sample size. If if I was able to look at trees from different countries, I would not say that. But it's. Uh, uh, it's, it's a type of critical thinking, but you have to be, and we'll talk more about this, uh, aware of your sample size. But so, uh, but, uh, so um, critical thinking is a process, as you said before, a systematic way of raising vital questions considering alternative answers, avoiding simplistic, simplistic explanations, and recognizing the impact of the actions on others. And critical thinking lies in direct opposition to impulsive behavior, where you take an action without doing any thinking whatsoever. Uh, passive thinkers, take a simplistic view of the world. They see things in black and white rather than recognizing a variety of possible understanding. They see questions as yes and no with no uh, 
different or shades of gray. They failed to see linkages and complexities and failed to recognize related elements. So uh, critical thinking does not mean negative thinking, uh, does not mean being skeptical without being cynical. Um, I mean, uh, and you intend to seek the truth. So the benefits of critical thinking is you become aware of different approaches to a problem, appreciate different worldviews, you challenge your own beliefs and assumptions. Um, an example, sometimes, have you, have you ever asked sometimes a person, why do you do it this way? And they answer, oh, we've always done it that way. Okay, so those, those are people who are not willing to question uh, their own beliefs or assumptions. Saying, we've always done it that way, is not critically thinking about things. You, uh, you, you, you're doing something because it was done before and you're not willing to question your beliefs and assumptions. Um, uh, and uh, critical thinking, you could prioritize things, time and resources, enhance communication, uh, and uh, uh, taking uh, decisions on an analytical approach and uh, on a considered basis. So, you know, critical thinking is, uh, when you think about it, is something that uh, looks something like uh, some like research, right? When you do research, you uh, you have a you form a hypothesis about something, usually based on gaps in knowledge, and now you want to find an approach to um, answer a question or solve a hypothesis. So you know you need powers of observation, interpretation, analysis, discrimination of the data, okay? Once you have your systematic approach and, and you have your data, now you have to analyze it. A, a lot of times, it's not hard to find papers in which uh, the investigator or the authors have come to conclusions that are not supported by the data. They over-conclude what's in the results without considering the limitation of the data. So uh, you need to evaluate and explain. And so core critical thinking skills, uh, interpretation, analysis, inference, explanation, evaluation, and self-regulation about, about your thoughts. So, this is uh, critical thinking is needed to do research. Critical thinking is needed to evaluate protocols from the ethical point of view. Critical thinking for um, analyzing ethics review of research proposals. Okay, great. So, so uncritical thinkers, don't think about it, just sign it. Okay, uncritical thinkers pretend they know more than they do, get annoyed by problems, impatient, judge on first impressions and intuition, focus on their own opinions, don't consider other opinions, uh, look only for ideas on their own. That's the other advantage of working out problems in groups. You could hear other people's opinions, ideas, interpretation, uh, because it's really difficult for 
one person to, to know all the different points of view. Thank you for your attention and participation in this presentation. Bye now.